Hello there, friends. Welcome back. More Slay the Spire Alter Mind Edition. Playing as a silent today. Good run last time. Had a fun time. Dude, I mean, we, we literally did the exact same thing last time. In, in removing two cards, taking 21 damage. There's a part of me that's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I mean, we, we had a fun time rocking the, the minimalist strength deck. It was not actually minimalist. I mean, there was like 25 cards in the deck, but it started slow, uh, and we got to a pretty fun spot on that run. So let's do the same thing on this one. Uh, obviously, you hurt a little bit more as... Uh, as a silent, because you're not going to be able to get back that HP uh, as easily. I'm not as concerned about it. Please draw two strikes. You will. Thank you very much. A bang. A bang. Good stuff. What are you looking for early? What are you looking for early? Poison Stab is not that good of a card. Um, I mean, it's fine. But you need a little bit more poison to make it really pop. Uh, I'm going to be real, dude. I hate all of them. I mean, eviscerate's awful. If that's even the correct word. I'll go so far as to say freaking terrible. Um, endless Agony just gets terrifying. So I'm leaning towards taking Poison Stab. Even though I think it's not good. I think I'm going to take none of them. And it hurts me. So Runic Dodecahedron. Now there's a relic, man. Uh, I don't think Runic Dodecahedron is very good at all. But... I think it's interesting. I'm also looking at all these, and I'm like, N nothing here is all that good either. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is is go down to a nine card deck. In fact, I'm actually gonna take the flying knee because we can afford it. Now we're sitting, you know, we we have a way to generate some energy, and you're drawing basically your entire deck every two turns i don't i don't necessarily see an issue with this yet i expect that i will have more issues with this uh as time goes on because the cards in our deck are what one would call uh terrible but i think that it could work i mean we could get up to like you know a high level of energy if we can get a rest in and, and chill Dude, I just don't think that any of these are good. Maybe I'm getting picky today. I like to think that that's not the case. Uh, let's transform a defend into adrenaline. Okay, I mean, that's that's really stupid, to be honest. Um, let's get flying knee being a little bit better, just because we're, we're trying to crank here a little bit. So, we're going to do this immediately, just to ensure that we can get these guys uh i actually think i'm gonna do this as well uh just so we can get the artifact off those guys now we can start weakening them um which i think has some value we're gonna take some damage here i i do think that there is like i'm gonna put it at like a 75 percent chance that we die in this run uh just because i feel like i, I definitely should have been taking some cards that i have not been um you know we're, we're just we're, we're we've been a little bit too picky on this one um and we're, we're coming up on a double elite we're, we're gonna go down to at least 20 in this fight uh if not worse than that there is a rest in between where we, we can get a good rest in but i look at that and i go not necessarily uh, a guarantee that we're we're coming out of this alive. I think it's an interesting start to a run. You know, anytime you can sit at a very very small amount of cards in your deck, um, that that makes for occasionally very very fun runs. We're actually gonna dip down into the teens in this fight. You really hate to see that, uh, and you really don't want to dip lower than that. Uh, except for that part where we are going to dip lower than that. We're going to go down to uh, 13 HP on this one. Please, give me this strike so I can put me out of my misery. Okay, terrible fight. Uh, on the first turn of combat, gain Golem's Might. Golem's Might, each turn your attacks deal 5% more damage than the last turn. I mean, 
That's going to scale really well, right? Kind of like this. Um, piercing Whale could, like, legitimately save our life, but... I don't know, man. It's a little, it's a little wonky. So we need to rest if we have any hope of surviving this uh, fight here. Sea salt ice cream. That's a Kingdom Hearts reference, dude. Upon pickup, store a copy of one of your relics and obtain the relic you previously stored. I previously stored nostalgia. I'm gonna be real, dude. I did not previously store nostalgia, and I don't know what nostalgia is. But do we really need runic dodecahedron? No. So now we got Nostalgia, which is obtained into the random starter relic, and now I have Sizzling Blood. So at the end of combat, heal 4 HP. Did I somehow just, like, save my life in a weird, weird sort of way? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. We'll never know, right? Uh, give me Neutralize. That's a great first turn on this guy. And all my damage is gonna my damage is gonna do 50% more damage or 100 percent more or some crap like that. Uh, take less damage on this one. We're, we're actually bodying this guy at the current moment in time. And I think that this is one where we will just eat the 12 damage. As long as I live, that's that's all that I'm really looking for. And we lived with 26 HP. Totally fine. We don't discard enough cards. Just don't make me look at eviscerate they've given me a chance to take this card like 18 times now uh draw two cards next turn draw two cards that that's some really good value coming out of that uh i do think that adrenaline is the most value that we have to upgrade here extra energy always good give me the curse we need the money anyway uh then i dude another curse seems horrible uh I think I'd rather just heal here. And I'm probably going to heal going into the boss as well. So Pantograph actually will allow us not to do that. And the reason that we want that is we want the extra energy from Runic Dodecahedron. So I think I will just do that. This way we can get an upgrade in here. Uh, and I think that something like Neutralize for the extra weakness is pretty good. Uh, now we're full HP. Now, obviously, you, you don't necessarily want to be full HP against, uh, against this son of a gun. Because now he's smacking us for 42. It's a disturbing amount coming in. Yeah, especially when you're only blocking 16 of it. No, basically zero, uh, scaling on this run, by the way. I mean, actually, that's, that's almost entirely wrong, because we do have scaling. Um, my attacks are going to deal more and more as time goes on, which that is still pretty wacky as a uh, item. I don't know, man. It's a weird run, um, but that's like every one of these runs. It ends up being a weird run. I'm waiting to not be weakened to see just how much uh, damage these are doing. So it's about eight uh, damage right now. It's not horrible. I mean, we're, we're going to continue to to get up there until we're basically dealing double damage. Which that can that can really scale, dude. Like I feel like we're we're now in a position we we want to start looking towards possibly relying on shivs because that golem's mask with shivs. I think there's there's definitely something there. We'll take 5 damage here. There's still, and I'm going to tell you right now, I hate to say it, but there is still a pretty high chance we just die in this, uh, in this boss room. I, we just, we don't have enough damage coming out. Uh, it's not happening fast enough for us to, to really make it go. And the burns, dude, we're feeling it. We're feeling the burns right now. And they are sucking the big one. They are really sucking. We're doing so much damage, and I'm appreciating that. But, oh, dude. You, you have to try to draw some of those out. This next turn is going to be brutal. 12 damage plus another 16 damage coming in. We're not dead. But, I mean, we are heckin' close, dude. 
Uh, and by that I mean we are dead. We are dead. Uh, rough again, dude. Rough again. We've had some some bad goes here these past couple days. But that's okay. Uh, when in doubt, try, try again. So a curse for a random rare is almost always going to be worth it. Every 15th card you play is played twice. Now that's a relic. That's going to be funky. In fact, that's going to be... That's going to be disturbingly funky. I'm super with it. Because uh, we, we can base that around a lot of things. And start to have a really funky run with it. Um, I, just, I, did, I didn't even know that relic existed. I've never seen it before. So... We, we know that we're in for uh, a treat on this one. Whenever the game throws me a curveball that I don't know what to do with, uh, that's how you know things are going to be good. So, pay attention. Oh my god, dude. There, there's, there's something here with Plunge, okay? So sadly, we're just going to play the defend twice so that we can get, you know, no block here. Or no damage taken. But now there is something from Plunge that's really interesting. Deal 12 damage. Enemy receives double damage from your next attack. Is that still active? Yeah. Okay. So that's where you have something like Plunge followed by playing the next card twice and you're dealing 50 damage. I don't even know how that works, but... I think that it, it could work, right? I also think that Dagger Spray now works pretty well for what we have. Let's transform a Strike into Marathoner. If this card is discarded, gain two decks. That is delicious. An amazing card. Okay. Transform and upgrade. We got a bullet time now. And it, it grabbed, I think, a Strike. Um, also really interesting. Let, let's go for a smith here. Holy crap, that's three decks. Uh, plunge being that much better is pretty good as well. I still think that neutralize is probably one of our best choices, though. And it's a pretty question mark heavy path going that way. So we'll, we'll chill on that. So let's see. It's going to be like that. That. Dagger spray. Oh, Plunge took the artifact. I should have played Neutralize, then Plunge. We would have killed that guy and taken no damage. That's my bad. I botched that a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean I legitimately botched it a ton. We, we played this pretty wrong, by the way, in case you, you haven't realized. Um, we're now setting us up where we will be taking uh, 18 damage on some turns and 0 on others, which not necessarily what you want to do. So don't do this the wrong way this time around. You do this, then you do this, then you... I, I did this wrong somehow again, and we got Joker to do Plunge twice instead of Dagger Spray twice. We, we could have taken way less damage on that one. A double blur with Joker. There, there's a lot there. Um... I feel like I always end up, <laughs> dude, drawing Marathoner at the start is so damn good. <laughs> it's so damn good. Okay, you, you gotta love that. This is a great turn. Gambling Chip, it, it was a top tier pickup. Uh, now you basically get into a position. Please just uh, get like Tactician and a ton of other things as well. Okay, that went well. Uh, we got Joker active. Keep that in mind. So, discard all shivs. Shivs deal one. Yeah, we don't got any shivs. I don't think we want to deal with that. The toy battleship, whenever you rest during the next combat, the first card played each turn also draws a card. It is so literally, basically doesn't matter. Yeah, who are you, dude? Oh, you're, you're fun. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have much here to work with in terms of my HP. But I know I want that. And I 
think I want that. <laughs> and I'm also going to yeet a card. And I'm, I'm going to yeet a base defend. You may be going Tyler to kill the injury. Uh, there's no reason to kill the injury. And I have good reasons why. Uh, because of this, we're going to draw that and exhaust it. So it doesn't really matter. So let's do that. Bullet time. Plunge. That does more damage now. Did I bullet time twice because of Joker? I'm a dumbass. Ignore me. He's not weak. So I think what you want is unload, but you want to play all of these first. That does split him, but you got dagger spray that you can uh, work with here. So you saw the thing exhaust. That was basically what I was talking about. Please. Thank you. One more dagger spray and you're good. We're living life on the edge. I mean, anytime you go into a, uh, a devil deal, things get a little bit sus. You have Joker active. Sadly, you're going to have to use it. Um, but you kill him. So it doesn't really matter. Draw two cards, discard two cards, add a shiv for each attack discarded. I don't think that's what we want at all. In fact, I really don't think any of those are what we want at all. So I am... I'm going to be real. I'm probably going to kind of want to draw <laughs> some other some other stuff here. Um, in fact, I kind of want... I, I don't care if I don't attack on this one. So then it's like this. I played that twice. That's fine. Bullet time. Plunge. And he takes eight damage twice. Smack. It's fine. It's fine. You gotta pay attention to Joker, Tyler. People are literally gonna, like, kill you if you don't pay attention to Joker. Okay. Plunge. Smack. Good times. Oh, we had the extra relic on the last run that I botched. Okay. That's fine. I really am just struggling to see how any of these attacks are going to be helping us on this one. I also, I want all the gold. Because of membership card, I mean, we're basically going to be able to buy everything on Earth here in the future. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, can you afford to fight the Elite? I mean, it depends on the Elite, right? I'll do it. Yeah, I think we're dead. But we'll pretend, right? We'll pretend. So, it's gonna be like... Should have played this in a way where we got Blur twice. Once again, I, I have kind of botched things. Now I just have to figure out how I want to crack you. It's basically we want to get as much dex up as humanly possible. This next turn is probably where we crack you. God, I had 52 block, man. Okay. Now, draw into bullet time, please. All I'm asking for. You did not draw into bullet time. That sucks. So, gonna be like plunge. This. Blur. So you carry over nine block. You just got to play one block card here. Which you will. Plunge, smack. We have to be like as diligent as possible here. Because you have to literally, you got to carry over block. Now, probably a bad turn to even do that on. Because we knew that he was. Why would you double play the defend, you dumbass? Okay, you take damage. For sure. Little scary. This is a good turn, though. Guaranteed no damage taken on this turn where it doesn't matter to begin with. Okay. So he will get six damage. Twice there. Then five. I think we're probably dead. I don't think we scale enough for it to matter here. 10. He takes 8. 7. 7 is 14. I I really 
can't in my right mind do that yet. Now I will likely be doing it. So it's like... <laughs> oh, it's sketchy. Uh, it's like this. We have Joker active. So you want to double up on this. Then you do this. You go down to 1 HP. Not a problem. Okay, not a problem. He's dead. Who said we'd have issues? At the end of your turn, gain two block for every enemy that intends to attack. Gain blur if there are multiple enemies and all intend to attack. That's fantastic. Okay. Give me heal hook. Just because it's, it's good enough. Uh, and then I don't know how you feel, but I think that resting is a relatively good choice for us here. Just out of fear, more or less. Uh, and then... I mean, I'd really like to kill everybody. And this is... Oh my god, dude. Look at the damage on this turn. So it's like, boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Play the defend. You're getting closer to Joker, which is kind of, I suppose, what you're looking for. Can you get to Joker here? You actually can. Uh, so it's like, boom. 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 I. I'm dumb. I'm dumb, but don't worry about it. So plunge twice is actually pretty good. Um, and then you can do like that, that. You take four dam. Oh, you take two damage. You gotta be a little cautious here. Like, don't don't just jump the gun and just play willy nilly cards everywhere. Cause that will that will burn us if we do that. We still have to be a little bit diligent about what we're doing. Like this right here, I probably should have defended a little bit, but I'm getting afraid that we have a situation like last time where I'm uh, where I'm going to end up dying because he wraps all the way around. I don't think that's going to be the case. Like I think we're doing just fine. It's nine damage there. We're not taking damage. Joker is... Like, saving our ass repeatedly. Over and over. I think we can afford to keep on going lower here. Uh, oh, we actually don't take damage because of Frozen Jewel. We really need to pay attention to that. Yikes, dude. This one sucks. Uh, in fact... Are we dead? We're not dead, but it, it's getting tight. It's getting real tight. Eight damage coming in. Seven... Seven. Smack. Is getting real tight. Please do not allow me to die to this guy again. I will be incredibly disappointed with myself. So we have a Joker for next turn. We're also rolling over 16 block. Please, Dagger Spray. Please do not tell me that we are going to be sitting and die with him at 1 HP. Please draw an attack. Thank you. I'll see you in hell. Okay. Scary, but good enough. Uh, whenever you play a shiv, draw a card. Atom Bomb. 60 damage, 4 poison to all fighters. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's fine, right? Especially because with bullet time, it's playable. I'm going to take it. Some card words have randomly altered stats. I love this. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite favorite relics in this. Just because it just ruins my life. In every way. And it's always in the best ways. So, give Bear his chip. Dude, I don't want to remove Gambling Chip. Because it's amazing. It's like literally the best thing we have right now. So I really, really don't want to. I will consider it, but I really don't want to. So this is where things get interesting. So he's dead. And and you guys are in really bad shape. A free atom bomb? There's there's nothing wrong with that. That that's gonna continue to feel good, I think, no matter how we intend on doing it. So take no damage and you get blurred. Dude, multiple enemy rooms are going to be 
kind of the best thing ever for us. Now, we get poison from Atom Bomb. Let's keep that in mind. Um, okay. Don't really care. And now we're in here. So, remove a card. Uh, at this point, remove Doubt because it's starting to piss me off. Uh, then, Random Relic. Start each combat with three regen, but regen can go to negative one. It's not amazing, but it's good enough. Start of each combat, gain two orb slots and channel that many random orbs. Whenever you play a power, channel a random orb at the start of your turn for three turns. I, what? Gaining energy, but you can no longer see the map. Am I actually about to make a defect orb deck? The answer is yes, by the way. I am going to. And I'm going to also take Ultima form. So I just spent like all of our stuff in that room. But this is now a defect orb deck. Yeah. I I hate this. But it is actually good. I am going to do it. So th this does end up... Uh, helping us in the end so we start with 35 temp hp upgrade all my strikes and defense i'm still scared for the record like still a hundred percent scared oh my god um does poison just kill me now like if i really botch this up that badly Everything, it's its so weird, okay? Everything is weird. And we're channeling orbs. And it's just, it's mess, dude. It's mess. I hope that poison doesn't actually kill us. Because then things are, things are all jacked up. I need that. Please give me bullet time. You didn't give me bullet time. Okay, I hate it. So, weakness. Crap, I was on uh, Thingamajiggy again. Blur. Defend. I barely know what's going on right now, for the record. I'm scared to use the Atom Bomb now, by the way. Um, so, bullet time. 13 damage and channel 4 random orbs. Don't even know what hit them, so it's fun. It's a true chaos run right now. Uh, everything about this is true chaos. Thank God we have all this regen that like literally doesn't matter at all. Having a blast with it. Um, that's extra energy. You might as well not take any temp damage either here. I mean, you just have an orb chilling. You also have an atom bomb just chilling. We somehow don't take damage again on this one. The temp HP is so frightening. Like, everything about it scares the hell out of me. But it scares the hell out of me in the best ways as well. We take two temp HP. Not a problem. 13 damage, channel orbs. It, it's, it's a journey. It's a journey. You're just here with me. So, gaining a dex, discarding a random card. Seems seems fine to me. We also now have defect cards because we grabbed the defect skill book. Um, so that that's funky and weird and I hate it. Um, give me a backflip in this deck. Extra draw means more fun for bullet time, is how we're going to describe that. And I think that doing something like this, sure, really want bullet time to play Ultima form like sometime this century, but what just happened to him? It just, everything goes boom. I should have played heel hook as well. Everything goes boom, and then I get scared, and then I'm worried. So, you're dead. I barely comprehend it, but you're dead. So, ball lightning, except it only does four damage and it costs zero. It's weird. Don't really think it's what we're looking for. Uh, keep in mind, we have 800 gold, and by that I mean 828 gold, and we're going to be moving on to... Uh, Come on, just give me bullet time, dude. It's actually getting unreal. The bullet time will not come out. 
all I want to do is Ultima form. <laughs> when we get it, it's going to be a beautiful day, but... It doesn't want to ever actually come here. Okay. That one's fine. We have a shop coming up with 828 gold and membership card. So it's going to get real disgusting here soon. Thank you for channeling just... A butt ton of orbs that I have no idea what is going on with them. Uh, getting a plasma orb is a lot of fun. This is such this is such a cursed deck. Like everything about this is cursed as hell, and I hate it while also loving every second of it. So uh, we're gonna be buying out the shop basically every time we come here. Um, so like, please give me all of those. Panache also seems like it could be a fine power to add to this deck. Uh, the fact that Barrage is a good idea as the damn silent hurts my brain. But I do legitimately think it is a good idea to add Barrage to this deck. What a, what a weird... Like, I hate this while loving it in every way. I'm not fighting Nightmare Plus. I'm not an idiot. I'm dumb, but I'm not an idiot. Uh, okay. So you're going to do something like this. Then you're going to backflip. And then you're going to not draw bullet time for like the 80th time in a row. I'm really having a blast here. With you ruining me repeatedly. Okay. Blur. Defend. You're not weakened. Just put up block. You're, you're blurring anyway. Ultima form. There will be a day. I, I have every belief that someday Ultima Form will be played. And on that day, it'll be when I actually line it up with Joker as well. And then it's going to be gross. I know you're looking at this run going, how are you actually winning right now? And I'm going to be real with you. I got no idea. I, I'm also confused because it, it really is. This deck hurts me. Wow, we finally had bullet time on that one. This deck hurts me so much. Uh, so, Charge Battery. I mean, it's such a defense-heavy deck. But then again, Charge Battery is extra energy. I think it's just literally worth it. Thank you for all the skill shards. We're just continuing to ramp those up. You guys said that I can also abandon quests. Um, I mean, I suppose I should do that. So, it's fine. I'm not going to pick up su Sucker Punch. I might pick up more powers, so I'll, I'll leave that be. Okay, so hit me with something like this. Hey, dude, bullet time. Okay, uh, so Oblivion. These gain strength, huh? Smack, 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 smack. I'm so scared to play Atom Bomb because I actually think it legitimately kills us. Like, I really hope it doesn't. And the thing is, I can't even afford to play it here because this deck is too fun that I want to see where this run goes. And the issue is, is that if I if I play it, then and we die, then we lose out on like a ton of fun. So I I, I can't bring myself to do it as, as much as it may be, uh, as much as it might work, and, and we will never know. I can't bring myself to. Because it's too fun. It's too fun. So, this hurts me. But not enough that it hurt him, to be fair. Uh, okay, what do you got here? Sweeping beam, 28 damage to all enemies, and you draw four cards. I'm going to be real. That's an amazing card. It's, like, literally fantastic. Um, and we could receive some bites, but they, they don't benefit us at all. So I'm not going to. Uh, Ultima form. I mean, someday. Someday it'll be playable. But that day is not today. Give me charge battery to make that more uh, reasonable for me to want to pull out. Sweeping beam for 300. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad is a fantastic. Okay. Bullet time, dude. For a free sweeping beam. Gotta love that, right? Uh, so, Sweeping Beam for 28 to all enemies. And we draw no cards because of that. But we, we kind of realize that. 
bunch of random orbs. And it played it twice. That's fun. I mean, I had a good time with that. We, we have so much leftover energy, which is disgusting. We're also getting regen out our ass right now. Um, not that that matters to us whatsoever either. You ain't doing crap. I would love to play Ultima Form, uh, sadly, as always. Um, just not an option. We're going to body this boss fight because these guys aren't hard to begin with. Um, and we, we just put up way too much damage. I mean, it's just, it's too good. We got 53, 52 block right now. That's a disturbing amount about block, man. And you got blur because there's multiple enemies out here. So we're literally, we will carry over this block forever. It, it's disgusting. It's too good. Give me another blur. Yeah, it will, will never, will never lose HP. At least not in this fight. So 30 damage to all. It's sad that I feel like that is like the best choice for us. And I played it twice. And then you can grab that. Barrage to just smack the crap out of them. We're getting strength up, by the way, from from something. Uh, it's from the orbs occasionally. That's how we're getting the strength. Um, so plunge. Oblivion. I mean, you might as well sweeping beam at this point. Any of you weak? None of you are weak? Really? That's pretty weak, to be honest. Uh, do we finally take damage? No. Thought there was a chance. Apparently not. Uh, so 60. So that will 100% kill me. I just killed myself. See ya. Never mind. It takes away uh, temp HP. We good. So that we can definitely play that card now. Uh, I, I will say, this is extremely cursed right here. Like, everything about this, like, like I almost want to take a picture of that. Just, just to prove how cursed it is. It, it's scaring the hell out of me. Bias cognition, it, as the silent, just hurts me. Thousand Cuts is also, like, a really good power for us. Like, why not take it? Okay. Um, so... If any battle takes longer than three minutes, you die. That's never gonna happen, but I still despise it. We still have a lot of things we want to upgrade, so I think that I'm fine doing Philosopher's Stone. Plus, we're past the second floor where Philosopher's Stone is scary, mainly because of the birds. Like... Birds with Philosopher's Stone is frightening. So, let's... Let's pray for bullet time. Ultima Form has finally been played. And because of Atom Bomb... You actually don't die. Dude, that's unfortunate. You're dead now, but... I definitely thought that we had something uh, something else going on there. So, deal 10 damage, draw 5 cards, discard 5 cards. I think that that is uh, not necessarily what I'm looking for at the current moment. No, I will escape to the staircase. I don't need to fight anything, thank you. Uh, let's duplicate a card and that do... Oh my god. Uh, I know you're looking at what I am. So, like a duped Ultima form? Uh, so... This, this is, this is, this is, uh, yeah, I'm seeing how this is right now. Um, oh my. Dude, you have to. You have to. You have to take the 78 card deck. It, this is one of those, like, do as I say, not as I do. 100% the wrong play. But how freaking fun is it to actually just go in and dupe your entire deck? It, this is so stupid. Like, it's so stupid. It's stupid in every, like, best way ever. We we have, like, five Ultima forms in this deck. We don't have the energy to play any of them. Uh, except for, you know, these two right here. We're gaining four... We're gaining, like, four strength, four dex, and four focus per turn. Is that is that how this is doing right now? Is that how this is doing? 
Yeah, okay. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be here chilling, living my best life. Don't worry too too much about me, okay? It's just a free flying knee. <laughs> Why would you not take a free flying knee? I will fight the elites. Do you think I'm afraid of fighting elites? Like th there is nothing to fear in fighting this elite. There's a lot to fear in this elite right now, but Okay. Um think you want to do something like this bullet time no bullet time unfortunate might as well throw a loop out there and then i mean this is sadly one where we we do have to just block up as much as i would love to not and, and then i don't really care about those either channeling orbs is fun but we don't need to this is where we just start to stack up so there's the draw we could play a thousand cuts I, I suppose that's fine channel some orbs don't even really know what happened there i just want to get some ultima forms out man i'm a very simple man a couple ultima forms and, and we're sitting pretty wow this is a terrible turn okay so we want to double up on blur and then we want to do that that went fine you're carrying over uh, five block, but you got true potential to get a ton of block. We know how our deck is. I know you're looking at this going, Tyler, how can you even comprehend uh, what is going on as you're doing this? The answer is I can't. Uh, I literally have not even close to a single clue what's going on 95% of the time on this one. Like, I just got eight energy there, and I barely understand why. Like, I get why. It's because we had a bunch of plasma orbs, but, like, what? It's just wacky. It's wacky, weird, it's strange. And, and it's a hell of a lot of fun. I mean, I'm just going to say it as it is. It's a hell of a lot of fun. So he will die probably on this turn. I mean, like, plunge, barrage is like 28 damage per orb or something like that. Bottled eggs on pickup, choose a card. All copies of that card you have are upgraded. That's fun. Um... Probably want to do like Honestly backflip seems like a great choice, but blur also probably logical to rock although No, it, blur seems oh my god, dude Did that also say pick up like 500 more or what? I guess I had way more in my deck than I thought fuse all your orbs Could be fun, uh, but I, I don't think we need it Okay, we do... No, 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 no. Those guys... I've learned my lesson on them far too many times. So raise your max HP by 100 and become unable to obtain new relics for the entire run. So, I mean, if we do this, we win. It's kind of as simple as that. Um, I, I really just don't know why we would do that, though. Besides the fact that, I mean, we would just win... But then it's like, you know, I'm about to get a relic, dude. I, I can't. I can't. As fun as it may be, I can't. Now, that relic was potion belt, so maybe I should have, but... What a weird run. It's still... I barely understand what's going on. I know that I'm yeeting all my defense out of the deck, but I just... I, I struggle to care enough about my HP to not just like like we, we somehow came out ahead on this one and so do I really care in the end how things go I mean of course I care but I mean, like this is one where why not just play Ultima form you're gonna carry over defense anyway from the jewel now you're getting you know buttload of stuff per turn you're hitting for 36 i mean we actually die if you do that so i'd really prefer you didn't you're hitting for 16 i will not take damage from that we will lose so we should lose four yeah okay 
So it, it does work exactly what we want. I should have checked that like a long time ago. Um, but we're good. So another winter, I mean, it, it's, it's also fine. But like adding one card to the deck right now is so inconsequential to our run. I should have grabbed Abe's Evil Pickle a long time ago. It's so inconsequential to our run. Because it literally, like, who cares? Y you know? Like, who literally cares? So that's going to get played twice, which I barely even comprehend how that did things. Um, but that's fine. You're taking no damage here. You could have actually done some interesting plays with that, by the way. Um, but it's fine. The one thing that I will say, by doing our whack play that we did... We basically did put ourselves into a position where we will rarely be playing Ultima form. Uh, only because we... Well, we don't have the... We don't have the ability to actually play it because we don't have the energy. And bullet time is so thinned down in the deck that we don't really have a way to get to it. So, like, it's fine, but it's not really... You know, we have a lot of dead cards in the deck, uh, and on some turns with bad draw, it it could body us. Uh, I think that it's a low likelihood that we will die from something like this, but it's not necessarily out of the question that we could get bodied by it. Some more blurs would be fantastic. Like bullet time, um, you do this, you draw four cards, and then you bullet time, and then now you're looking at, you know... Ultima form right here and you're like, you know, Tyler, I thought you said that uh, things were going to be looking harder for you and instead you just completely bodied him and you're getting uh, a bunch of stuff per turn. Look, I only say things. Oh my God. Uh, I, it, it, I just, I keep on trying to get, to understand, but then everything, I, I look at this and then I look at what's underneath my player and I'm just like, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on so 21 you're dead we haven't gotten hit by the way um in a very long time to throw another bullet time in the deck it's not gonna hurt right it's not gonna hurt our score is going to be nutty at the end of this run by the way um like this is one where it is legitimately going to be disgusting what our score is sweeping beam bodies like seriously bodies I mean, we, we could just kill right off the bat with this. Now you can really do it, but... So it's like Sweeping Beam, Barrage, Atom Bomb, and that, that went fine. Another Charge Battery, just in case we didn't have enough of them in the deck. Figured one more, what, what could it hurt? So we have a Bullet Time. If we have a Bullet Time, you gotta go all in. And you did not get what you wanted. So that sucks. Uh, so let's do something like this, 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 this. This is a dangerous one because the stupid, uh, the stupid effect he puts on blows. One of my least favorite things in this game. Uh, so 20. Smack. Extra decks. Smack. Smack. Don't have any blur. So you lose all that block, and it, it, it sucks. Block, block. You actually don't take damage because you have Funnel, and Funnel is like literally the best card in the game, I swear to God. Um, 12 block, plunge, neutralize, neutralize. I mean, you really should play a thousand cuts when <laughs> you have the energy to play it. But I actually think that that, in a lot of ways, just saved us. So I just want to let you know that in our current state, we're actually getting six strength and six dex per turn and six focus. So that that's fun. I will just continue to chill. One last shop just to make my life uh, as nice as possible. So, you might as well take everything. Dude, two extra cards at the start of combat. That's really good. It's really good. Whenever a fighter loses exactly 7 HP, gain critical. That's never going to happen, okay? But we'll chill. I will also take RNG for random orbs X times. 
Uh, I think a skill potion, probably there, there's a lot of value to that. Um, retaining five energy between turns. We, we generate so much energy, it's not really an issue. Um, and then we'll kill injury, which has been in our deck uh, for like ever. So what we got here, read read the art of war and unlock its secrets. I mean, you have to, right? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. I I don't what There's so many weird things in modded Slay the Spire, man. I just I can't comprehend it. Uh so this is like the worst first turn I've ever seen in my life. This is the best turn I've ever seen in my life. Uh so that's fun. You're vulnerable. You're weak. I'm four strength up, but four strength up, funny joke, dude, because Ultima form, Ultima form. And now we're, you know, amazing forever right now. You're weak. 48. Play the skill. I mean, seven block for each enemy in combat that intends to attack. I mean, it's just a little bit of block, but it allows us to play these. And then that. And you actually take, like, a decent chunk of damage. You take four damage there. But you kind of needed that to get the ball rolling here. Because now you're going to really start to pop on this one. Now, all the thorns people, they blow. But it doesn't matter, man. I mean, you're, you're getting so much damn stuff per turn. It, it's kind of irrelevant. And I believe we're going to be getting blur. Maybe not. I think if it's more than two enemies, we, we start to get blur. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, so this is 66 damage. I mean, we, we need to just get the orbs cycling. 33 damage per orb. Really good. Or we could just do this. There's, there's, how much vulnerability are you putting on these guys? Can I just kill you? I'm not dead, um, but we're actually closer than you would think. And by that, I mean we're taking one HP. It, it always seems like I'm about to die, and then the game's like, not really, you're kind of fine. Uh, you're dead. What a weird run. It, it was it was an incredibly weird run. Uh, incredibly cursed run as well. But um, made for an interesting experience. That's for sure. Uh, our score is going to be insane. Yeah, 1,500 for our score. That's, I mean, that's a monster score. And that is primarily because we have, uh, I mean, we literally flawlessed all three bosses. <laughs> um, along with also... Um, it, it, collector times five, we got a thousand. It, it's just everything was good on this run. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, it is a pleasure to serve you with content. I'll catch you guys at a later date. You have a good one. Goodbye.